give thanks, give thanks, give thanks and praise always to the most high. Yeah, man, creator of nature. We do give thanks and praise always. Our advocacy is freedom. Freedom minion, freedom in, freedom. That is it. That's it. I think we must, you know, make an effort to bring closure. by stating it's very clear that we are not here to compete with absolutely no one out there, especially our people. We now compete when it comes on to information. I'm on totally now compete with the ones them out there only because me I learn from everyone out there. I've learned a little bit here, I've learned a little bit there. Yeah, you have platforms where I really you know say like the energy and we you know always I pay attention and tune in. You have platform where I probably turn off from them accordingly. But I am just a man here. Yeah, whether I show up or don't, it it not really matter, it's irrelevant. Yeah man. Some learn from everywhere. Yeah man. From my people and from people who would have said foreign to I then put it that way because we can say it that way i'm up on an island where i'm gonna see many people not looking like i when we see them we take picture of them especially in my community because it's rare so we can say it you know people that is foreign to i so at no time I really uh, try to compete or, you know, undermine anybody information out there. We never do that. And I've read somewhere where it posts. I think it's a modern knowledge is Google, you know. And again, me have to say, boy, salute to Google, salute to these search engine out there, salute to YouTube. Yeah, with all of the censorship and all of the, you know, shenanigans. I want to have to say gratitude, complete gratitude to these platform, these search engine, these areas where you can at least choose to apply yourself. I say gratitude. Why? Because before it's only a privilege set to get that opportunity. Now you know, necessarily have to have a dollar in your pocket. Once you have some internet service, you can apply yourself and learn. And that is an exceptional thing. It's not just a good thing. It's exquisite. So I'm on salute this platform. I think the subtlety is you scrutinizing the information, you qualifying whatever information, you know what I mean? 
that you are really look at or is presented. So if you go in a Google and you look for some information, qualify the information. That's all it is. Cross reference these kind of information. See if it match up with other body of work where you know you can present. So when people have problem with the base people, the common people choosing to apply themselves in order to attain some semblance of knowledge, you know, logic, you know. We well, have to say give thanks. We really have to say give thanks. Yeah, man. So, for make it clear, we're not going to try to compete. And when we say once, you know, throw arrows at us, no more will we be, you know, back and forth and all of that. Especially when it's our people. We're not going to even try to get energy more than you know we just come with that kind of energy how we are said love of the answer and that of the truth yeah man just like light dispel darkness i'm quite sure love dispel heat so even i I have a problem. I make the adjustment. So, you know, in order to maintain our status quo, our, you know, it has a function. Then we have to, we have to you know, start carry and conduct ourselves on a much higher level. And it has to start somewhere. So let's start again. The profanity. We can refrain, especially. If it are direct for bring hurt and harm to others. And that not have nothing to do with, with free speech. But when you can present the word that is bad, then we can go in a court and discuss it. You know what I mean? But we can understand profanity. We can comprehend that. We can comprehend that we can use words and really bring hurt and harm with just our words. We can comprehend that. And in those department, we can make the adjustment. And we have to start somewhere. Why not now? Again. I am an advocacy is always freedom, freedom in and freedom in. I'm not here to try to save the world. Should I repeat that? I as man, I'm not here trying to save the world. I'm totally cognizant in and necessarily can't save anyone. Those things are personal. Free will exercise is like choosing good and not evil. It's like choosing right from wrong. Be a personal choice that. So man can't really come out, come save no man. Man have to try to live up to a level where a next man can choose to emulate. And I always remember, say, well, I am now cognizant, so you have your personal, private, and your public side. Truly. 
we have one. So in our public, like over there, so no one this ever go out there in our public. I am enough to choose for balance ourselves, balance our conduct, balance our attitude. Yeah, just like if my going at the court, my naga curse and call nobody sadamite and that thing. I would never do that in the court. I would never disrespect not even a police officer out there. When you hear me talk on YouTube, it's because I'm a view it as YouTube virtual. You understand? And because I'm a naga can probably bring the same kind of energy with them bring to me out there. We know some of have a platform then a hey, fair game. But now me have to be mindful, me have to be cognizant because me a really old man and I like me a young boy. Yeah, me, you know, nowadays me a color me here, but I fully agree. Fully agree. Well people will say that I mean you're old, but yeah man. When you're over 50 as God into my mom, then you should have said you reach the top and on your way down. Yes, yeah, so I'm an old man, but we take care of ourselves because of our choice, you know. And again, we're not there for compete with the ones then. We learn from all of y'all out there. We learn from the mainlanders. We learn from other islanders. We learn from even the foreigners. You understand? And as they would say, we are all human race. But, you know, me just say, uh, if that's the case, why other people from other places, you know, I choose to usurp the original people's place. Okay, if you come from Sweden, then when you come here, you have to just stay in Sweden. You know, come here and say, boy, you know, you take on the American, this and, you know what I mean? And then you choose to oppress the people you come see. This is where it becomes problematic. But again, pay attention. Our advocacy is freedom. And I try to assimilate with this system. And not necessarily choose to participate in a, with this system. Any participation is by threat, duress, and coercion. This is why I must say sovereign. This is why I must say freedom. This is why I must say free man. Clarity. Clarity. One of my contemplation is this. I would like to find a platform from probably 1999 that's telling the American people that they are the American Indian. I'm not talking this Moorish mess because 99% of the ones who are professing to be Indians now, previously, they were Moors. They were in some conscious community. They are Pan-African, you know what I mean? They are all of these things. And they come with these other school of thought knowledge. Because other people always know when the so-called Columbus claimed to discover this location. They know I was here and my ancestors was here. This kind of truth will only resonate with the people who have this kind of truth within their doxyribonucleic acid, within their DNA. A lot of people lost them and know because their parents got to some little school or some little group of people tell them all kind of things. I them not know. But the moment this kind of truth them hear it for the first time, it, it, it will naturally resonate. They want to learn some more. They want to know some more. 
So I can't take no credit as the man where start this, create anything like that. But me just know so boy. I know I never seen a platform I say, hey, you know, this is who we are and very, very, very no. Is after 2012, them things they become prominent. You understand? But the freedom movement and the sovereign movement that was always there because these people are fight the very same system from their land. And what system is that? That's the feudal property system that is in place. That came from the North, man. That was introduced to Anglia, now called England. It was brought there by the Anglia Saxon who was the Angli and the Saxony people from northern Germany. I'm, I'm quite sure they're not originated there either. So again, our advocacy is really freedom. Pay attention right now. It's personal. I've been through this situation with this Crown Agency before. So I share my personal information because it's mine. And when the government of Jamaica said I'm of a bird surface ticket, which I share out there, then I can present my private birth certificate that I created for myself totally outside the federal jurisdiction totally outside the government of Jamaica I can present a passport that is private just the same my world passport my world birth certificate all I need to travel is my affidavit of travel. That's it. Lawful in my capacity. Personal. Private. Now to the public. So I'm not here. I try to be this political activists and non-political this is why i renounce it my citizenship of jamaica because i'm not interested in being a part of that political community the plates right now on this pro box you're looking at right there this is my original place. First time they, they took my car, they stole my place. When I get my car, they, they lost my car keys. You get me, I have to spend a ton of money resurfacing and furbishing my car. And now it, it, it's like a repetitious cycle. So where is my compensation? This is why I'm going to go through these kind of things and share this kind of information. This is my reason. That this is my cause. And I know it is a righteous cause. I know it's a just cause. I'm not going to say, hey, I do not have driver's license. I do not have registration, I do not have insurance, I do not have none of those things. I don't, because it does not apply to me. 
It is as simple as that. And I'm not breaking any laws. You know what I mean? And down to the very Road Traffic Act make provision for non-commercial motor vehicle expressly used for personal conveyance. The provision is there. This is not my word. How can a senior sergeant of police that cannot read and write and do not have a law degree make a legal determination and unlawfully arrest me, falsely imprison me and seize my personal property? First instance, why are you interfering with my liberty? What crime have I commit for you to initiate your stop in the first instance? As I know, I have a duty to exercise my fundamental rights and freedom, which includes freedom of movement. This is my advocacy. I'm not a criminal here. I'm not advocate for criminality. It's the opposite. We're lawful here. We're on the lawful side of the issue. I have nothing to do with attorneys. Everything to do with the man, a woman. We won't allow ourselves to be enslaved by any fictional entity or any fictitious paper. Again, our advocacy is freedom not to be popular not to be famous. It's not a modeling contest. I share some old images of myself. And it's just some old image when I have hair and when I have hair, when I hear white and when I color my hair, that's, you know, simple thing, basic thing. It's not showing off. It's celebrating life. Who else can share these images? Who else? We're not here to compete with absolutely no one. It's no competition, man. Let's learn together and build together. I know it breaks a lot of people heart. That a man around here on the island I share certain kind of information where usually it's forbidden. It's only reserved for the fellows in their private groups and private clubs. Their secret clubs. And all kind of activity going within those places. This is why you see our society is like this. You're looking at the leaders out there and you're not sure what they're really about. You really cannot be sure. And it's not that they're keeping their personal business personal. No, they don't do that. They promote their personal lewd conduct and teach it to the populace. So don't ever get it twisted out there as if we can contend against each other and achieve anything. 
pay attention. I'm always going at that elephant. Pay attention. I'm always going at that elephant. This is why my advocacy is freedom, freedom in, and freedom in. What's yours? I must say salute to the original American, the ones that term Indian. Salute to the West Indian. Salute to all the people, original people of the West Indies. Know that you're not no African. You are the original people. Look around you. It's all foreigners. Just know that. Just know that. Don't let them remove you from your land. Salute Virgin Islands. Both British and so-called American. It's one Virgin Island. Salute. Yeah. Bunch of islands over there. Connected to we same way. But the people them again are still searching. It's not like 2018, 19. No, a lot of people have information, so, you know, their minds are open now. So it's not a time for us to go back and forth or, you know, nitpick. No, it's about bringing your information, bringing your story. And outshine the colonizers, outshine the occupiers, outshine them. That's it. If we in a unite, then what kind of change are gonna make? Uh, that will be the biggest change to see us as a people unite on some common ground. If it's even that they have dark skin. So it's no competition. It's not even, you know, you're not, you know, we're not even contending. No, personally, I'm in the courts. Yeah, and I'm doing exceptionally well, whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not. I'm doing exceptionally well in these courts. Got the information that I share. Just research it. Just rebut that information. Yeah. Just excuse I as the messenger, as the presenter, as the man that's walking through this fire. Just ignore I. Pay attention to the information. And then you rebut the information. Say it's not so. Say it's, there is not a foreign congress on the mainland totally dominating all Indians. Totally. This is why even when I say freedom, I have to say it like this loud. So you can choose to be free. I can't make you free. It's a truth that you keep that make you free. And just like how you saw the Moors teach other Moors who are saying they are Indians now and all kind of other things now. All kind of fancy commercial stuff. Just like how the Moors, you know what I mean? It's the very same way as they go along. Yeah, for sure, it's that everybody get it. But I think most people upset that, you know, common people find them way. And sometimes they need all that commercial shenanigans. We, we don't have no interest. You keep all that money. You keep all that, all of that paper, imaginary wealth. You keep all of it. But I have a registration form. 
And if it's demonic, I don't know. It's just a piece of paper. And this is why I say I cannot be regulated by a piece of paper. This is why I like to tell people, speak for yourself. If you apply yourself and attain knowledge, then you'll be able to speak for yourself. Don't try to speak for the everybody. This is why we get in this mess. We get a group of people saying they're smart and they want to speak for the whole populace. This is why the whole populace are enslaved on paper. Why? Because you have never been given full disclosure. We can say, hey, it's a, it's a trust, but who is there to confirm it? They are the trustee, public trustee, who is there to confirm it? Who is walking that walk? Who is making that talk? Who is in the going through the adversity of fire? Is it you? Or advocacy is freedom. Yeah. And it's personal. Why? Because they take away my personal property. You get me? And they personally violate and assault me. Kidnap me. This is what they have done. So if I don't speak it. If I don't demonstrate my sovereign state capacity. Who will? Who will? Will you do it? Do you know me? Have you done what I've done? Or do you can say, hey, I got you my trust and, I, and all those commercial mess? I can't say it's good or bad. Because I know I have my set of documents tucked away, safe keeping at the island's record office. That's where my information is tucked away. Yeah, man. And that's the de jure public area. So, yeah. It's an orthodoxy. Yeah, you might never see anything like this, but this is our island, our American island. Yeah. North American continental island, to be more specific. This is our land. So if you now walk through the adversity of fire, stand down. It's not a show off thing. You know what I mean? It's not a beauty contest. You understand? We are gonna choose to show respect. And going forward, we're gonna choose publicly to show respect. Yeah, even private or might such a fire burn and thing, but yeah, I choose to show respect. Yeah, and you know, again, we're not gonna make words deter we because if a sodomite step up and you're a sodomite, then again, we'll, we'll try our best for you. refrain from, you know, what I mean, but. Don't push it. Yeah, man. Because we are chose to move forward. Remember, you know, we are go up against the principality. We now go up against the individual. So you never can tell about spirituality. Because you do not know it. And don't think where you are say is it. Where you are here is it. We have to choose for walk this walk in such a way where common people can see. Most 
for my people on this island, but not aware of the power they have constitutionally. Yeah, the contract of fundamental rights and freedom says it clearly. But it's unknown to my people. My people are not going to look on the mainland information and get it. No, it's two separate and distinct jurisdiction. So when you're on the mainland, you have to pay attention to that Congress. And when I'm on the island, I pay attention to that parliament, not even locally, you know, the British parliament. Uh, that's where the Privy Council is. And that's the governing authority around here, legislatively. Again, our advocacy is freedom. What's yours? 